Hi there, I'm Peter Millard and I've got a bit of a bandsaw problem. They're breeding. So yeah, I did a, a first of all, I promise this is the last bandsaw video I'm going to do this year. Uh, well, maybe, maybe another one later in the year. Uh, it's been a bit bandsaw heavy this start to 2018. Last one for a while, I promise. Um, I did a video recently, a few weeks ago, uh, comparing my cheap little 80 quid Aldi to the 200 pounds or so Axminster. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, it's been a, a well watched video. Um, I was slightly surprised, slightly taken aback by the number of people who commented to say that A, the link to the Aldi was broken, uh, Aldi don't stock it anymore, Aldi aren't selling it anymore. Uh, my apologies, I, I assumed everybody knew uh, Aldi, like Lidl, only stock these guys at certain times of the year. They're a special purchaser, special buys, they call them. Um, obviously, if, it's, if they're not in stock when you want one, well, you're out of luck. You know, you either got to wait around uh, until they come back in stock uh, or buy something else. Uh, the trouble is you never quite know when they're going to be back in stock. Uh, Aldi can't tell you because they don't know either until they've made the, the special buy, the special purchase. Um, so it's a question of sort of hanging around uh, uh, and waiting for them uh, to get back in stock or you've got to buy something else. Well fairly obviously, as I think I mentioned uh, in the previous video, uh, this is a Shepak HBS20. So you can buy one of those, uh, but that's another 30 quid. They're about £110 from uh, Screwfix sell them, UK re retailer, uh, they sell them here in the UK. Um, a, a, a number of people mentioned the Titan bandsaw, this guy, um, and I've got to confess, I'd kind of forgotten about this one. Um, Titan is a, a own brand of Screwfix. Uh, it was a Titan track saw that I compared to my Festool last year in my Festool tube tool uh, track saw videos. Um, uh, and as I say, I kind of forgotten about the Titan. It's a dead ringer for the Ryobi bandsaw, and I haven't forgotten about that. It's just that a bit like I think I mentioned the Jet, um, they're they're priced a bit too close to the Axminster for comfort. The Ryobi is anywhere between sort of 175 and 200 quid, uh, and it's you know compared to this, it's it's not really in the same game. But the Titan here, well, the Titan's only 100 quid, so I thought I'd buy one to see what you get for the extra £20 over the Aldi. So this video is going to be principally about the, the Titan versus the Aldi because they're the similar sort of price points. Um, but I've included the Axminster in the mix for this initial sort of uh, uh, part of the video because I just want to do a sort of whistle-stop tour around how similar or how different they are. There's also something else that I need to address quickly. So uh, the, the Axminster and the Aldi are both very, very similar. I think I said they were out of the same mold, just in terms of everything, the layout, the capacities, uh, absolutely everything is very similar. Principal differences, the Axminster's better made, cast iron table, solid fence with a track system. Um, so the Titan is a little bit bigger physically, it's a little bit taller. It's also a little bit wider at the throat. The Aldi and the Axminster are both 200mm 8-inch bandsaws at the throat. The Titan is 230mm 9 inches, so a little bit more capacity there, but all the same depth of cut, 80mm on each of them. So around the back you can see the Aldi and Axminster being so similar. The Titan is a little bit different. I'll go into that in a bit more detail when I just compare the, the Titan and the Aldi. Um, the one thing I did want to mention is that they, uh, the Aldi and the Titan both have 350 watt motors uh, claimed uh, and the Axminster is 250 watts. I just wanted to address that quickly. Um, uh, I felt it was a bit strange that the Aldi has uh, a 350 watt motor but the OEM Shepak version has, has 250 watts. Um, in a, a comment thread started by subscriber Jim Black, hi Jim, uh, Hans de Groot mentioned that he had the Shepak and it was rated at two different wattages, uh, 250 watts S1 and 350 watts S2. Uh, now Jim, who knows, whose curiosity knows no bounds, uh, talk to the Professor of Electronics at Liverpool University, I think Jim mentioned that he, he works there, so not such a stretch, um, who, who confirmed that it's not unusual for a motor to have different ratings depending on whether it's uh, being used continuously or for intermittent use. Um, uh, that was really interesting, and in fact this was uh, clarified by uh, 
uh, uh, and I'm sorry, I don't know your actual name, uh, uh, Hard Crash with a K. Um, he did a very succinct uh, post about that, and I've quoted that verbatim in the description below. In short, in short if a motor is running continuously under no load, then it'll run for, you know, forever more or less and the wattage won't change. As soon as you pop, start putting that motor under load, so you start cutting something, then obviously it needs to draw more power. And there's a point where it can't go on for any longer without overheating. And that point is the S2 or intermittent value. Um, uh, in fact, I, I checked on the back of my little Aldi here and blow me, it says exactly the same thing. 250 watts S1, 350 watts S2, 30 minutes. So that's the difference uh, in, in wattages. Uh, I hope I haven't deceived anybody by, by quoting the power uh, as quoted on the, on the box in each of these. In fact, the Titan also says, you know, 350 watts uh, bandsaw uh, on the instructions and on the box. Uh, I don't know if that's for uh, continuous use or intermittent. I suspect that's for intermittent. It's no surprise, obviously, that the marketing people latch onto the higher numbers. I did ask the Axminster technical bods and they did say that the uh, all of their motors, the wattages they quote, is for continuous use, not intermittent use. So obviously these are only hobby bandsaws effectively, they're not designed for continuous use, like running them constantly like you'd find in a, in a you know, boatyard or, or something. Um, again, I don't think I've ever run the uh, the Aldi bandsaw for more than a couple of minutes at a time, so I feel quite comfortable quoting uh, 350 watts as the as the stated power because that's uh, obviously been my, my usage of it. Anywho, let's have a closer look at the Aldi versus the uh, Titan uh, and see what that 20 quid extra buys you. Uh, well, first and foremost, it buys you a much better table. Um, the fence is similar uh, to the Aldi, to be honest. In fact, it's probably a little bit worse. I had trouble setting this finely, and it tends to creep up a little bit, so we might look at uh, changing that fence. Um, but the table is much, much better. Uh, it's aluminium, which is much stiffer and stronger uh, than the Aldi. Uh, it has a rack and pinion adjustment on the angle, which should make it easier to set. And critically, it also locks it down tight when it's fixed. Um, it has a mitre slot, which is very useful, and it does have a mitre gauge with it. Uh, that's a, an optional extra uh, in the Axminster and isn't included at all uh, with the Aldi. As I mentioned, it is a slightly bigger bandsaw, uh, at, at nine inches uh, width of cut at the throat, uh, and consequently, it's got a slightly bigger blade as well, 1575mm for the Titan, whereas 1400 uh, for the Aldi and the Axminster. A couple of things I don't like about it very much. Um, uh, the, the, the doors, although they have micro switches, which is fine, but on the Aldi, it's a quarter turn to open. On the Titan, it's a staggering 15 turns of an ordinary screw to get that door open. Now I know you're probably not going to do it that often, but it's a bit of a faff. I suspect if I keep this, I'll be cutting those down a bit or, or changing them. Um, inside, aluminium wheels, uh, a standard sort of blade and tire, obviously slightly bigger wheels than the little Aldi. Uh, it's got to be said, this is the uh, only one of these three that I've had to fettle properly uh, when I set them up. The Aldi and the Axminster, I just squared the table up to the blade and they were cutting absolutely perfectly. Uh, this one I've had to adjust the tracking uh, and mess about a lot more with the tension. Interestingly, on the tension, uh, one of the interesting things about this, uh, uh, on the Titan saw, you actually have a little sort of quick release lever at the back. I've only ever seen that in bigger bandsaws before. Uh, that's to take the tension off the blade so you can change blades quickly and then get it tensioned again. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work. Uh, by the time you've tensioned the blade properly, uh, the little cam that makes the adjustment is, is completely out of reach. So I don't know if there's any... Uh, I need to have a play with that to see if there's any adjustment on that. It's a nice idea, but it just doesn't do anything. Um, as with the Aldi, you've got little aluminium alloy blocks for the blade guides uh, and a roller bearing for the rear blade guide. 
So how does it cut? Uh, I've got to say with the supplied fence it's not great. Um, I couldn't quite get the uh, Titan uh, to cut much thinner than about a sixteenth of an inch. It's, it's okay, nothing wrong with that. Um, but that was absolutely the best it could do. Taking the fence off and just replacing it for a little uh, block of wood, well that got us much finer, uh, much more like a millimeter thin or thereabouts. Um, on par, very slightly thicker than. Uh, that's the Axminster, which is very nice. And that was the Aldi with a new blade, which is pretty good. Uh, the other thing we'll try, of course, is the uh, maximum rip cut in oak. That's uh, three inches of oak floorboard. Uh, I've put the old fence, the original fence, back on again because I think I need the, the height. Although we'll see how uh, <laughs> we'll see if that makes a difference. Uh, but we'll give it a go and uh, see how that does. So I've got to be said, rather a lot of drift there. Uh, never had that kind of drift in a. Uh, and on the other two bandsaws before at all, even the cheap little Aldi, uh, it was vastly better than that. I think the biggest problem is the fence here. It really doesn't lock down firmly on the table. Uh, and the Aldi is pretty sort of cheap and cheerful, but at least it stays put. Um, so yes, maybe we'll try something else. We'll try the uh, revert to a, a block of wood, see if that's better. So what do you have to do to get a decent three inch rip cut in oak out of the uh, Titan? Well, I don't know about you, but for me, I have to replace the fence with a lump of three by three. And in fact, the cut you get is lovely. Uh, probably better than the Aldi with a stock blade, I've got to say, finer cut, uh, dead square and flat and true. But it's got to be said with the stock fence, uh, the cuts I got from this were absolutely shocking. Uh, I've never seen so much blade drift and wonder. Better blade, better fence, will cure those things. It's a question of whether you want to get involved that much in it or if you just want something out of the box that's going to work. Um, so let, let's get rid of the first first dilemma. Uh, I'm going to sell the Axminster. It's a cracking little bandsaw, uh, but it's more bandsaw than I need at this capacity. If I was spending that kind of money for a bandsaw, then I'd want something a little bit bigger. Um, so I know there are a couple of guys who expressed an interest in it uh, in the comments of the previous bandsaw video. Uh, if you guys or anybody else wants to shoot me an email or contact me, email's probably better actually. I've had a few problems with uh, YouTube messages. Uh, my contact details, if you go to my, my channel and go to the About section, there's uh, links to my email there, or go to 10minuteworkshop.com, uh, there, are, there are links to my email there, or indeed petermillard.com, there's links to, the, uh, uh, to find me there as well. Shoot me an email, uh, we'll have a private discussion about price or whatever. Yeah. I'd rather not ship it, uh, so it's really down to somebody who can pick it up uh, once we've agreed a price and all that. Um, let me know anyway if, if anybody's interested. Uh, between these two, well that's a bit more of a dilemma. I've got to say, uh, having played with the Titan here uh, today and over the last few days, it just brought home how good the Aldi is um, to, to literally be able to take this out of the box, bolt the, the table on, square up the blade to the blade uh, and start making you know three inch rip cuts in oak uh, uh, and you know millimeter thin cuts in uh, in floorboards that's that's pretty pretty impressive um, uh, however, it is not always available. Uh, if you want one, you've got to wait for it. If you don't want to wait for it, you've got to buy the OEM uh, Shepak version, which is a bit more expensive. Uh, 10 quid less, you can buy this guy, the Titan. Um, it has a bit more capacity, same depth of cut, a little bit more of the throat. It has a much better table, not as good as the Axminster, but a step up from the table on the uh, Aldi. But the fence is, is a bit woeful. Um, however, the fence can be changed. Uh, you know, I got it cutting really well uh, just with a block of wood clamped onto the table. So we can change that. Again, the blades are changeable. Uh, uh, you can put a better blade in it. I'm sure it'll uh, cut nicer without the sort of drift. And I've got to say, part of the appeal is uh, the table with a mitre slot. Because the little bandsaw was out all the time, I used it a lot 
for short repetitive cuts and for doing that then having a mitre slot uh, it, it would be very useful. I was rolling dowel through the blade to try and keep it square whereas keeping it uh, nice and square and tidy would be much easier with a mitre slot. Um, I, I still don't know what I'm going to do with these to be honest. I'm going to mull this over over the weekend uh, and maybe I'll take a little bit longer over it uh, and decide what to do between these two because I certainly don't need them both. Um, the appeal of a bit more capacity and the mitre slot is quite strong. On the other hand, it's a lot more sort of fannying about to get it cutting well. We'll see. I, I'm going to think about that and, and decide. But as I say, uh, the Axminster is up for grabs if anybody's interested. Uh, and uh, between the two of these, I think with a bit of a bit of fettling, a bit of attention, then the Titan will be a really nice bandsaw uh, for the money. Uh, I think the 20, 20 quid extra just for the table alone is, uh, is, is probably worth it uh, over the Aldi, especially as it's available now rather than whenever Aldi uh, decide. Yes, and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little video, uh, roughly comparing the three, but mostly comparing these two. I hope it's helped you make a decision of some kind. If it has, give it a thumbs up, share it out amongst your friends, and uh, do consider subscribing. Or hey, just check back next Friday when there's always something new up at noon. I'll see you then. Take care.